Hi, this is Professor Stuart Bruce from Washington College, and I'm going to give you a short demonstration of the ArcGIS interface. You can follow along with the video if you'd like. I'll try to go slow enough, but if you get lost, just pay attention to the video. The first thing I want to show you in the interface is this giant white screen here in the center. This is called the data frame, and this is where your map information will always appear. Just to the left of this, we have the table of contents, and I'm going to show you how that will indicate where data is in the interface a little bit later. But all the layers that you have will be shown here in the table of contents. If you look up at the top, you'll see a number of labels here. These are called pull down menus. And go ahead and you can put your mouse over the file menu and then left click and then you will see a menu of options appear. Go ahead and just move your mouse along this top edge and take a look at all the different menu options that are available to you. Many of these you won't use in this particular class, but I want you to be aware that they're here for you to use. The next thing I want to show you is the, tool, the two toolbars that you will always need to have. The first toolbar is called the standard toolbar. And that's this toolbar right here. Now notice as I scroll along this toolbar, you'll be able to see what each of these buttons does. If you hover your mouse over any button, a little screen will pop up and identify what the button does. Later, you're going to have an exercise where you're going to write down the names of some of these buttons because it's honestly a little bit easier if you remember some of these. So remember this toolbar here. It's a very important toolbar. It's called the standard toolbar. The next toolbar I want to show you is called the tools toolbar. Try saying that 10 times fast. The tools toolbar has a lot of your navigational tools. For example, zoom in, zoom out, pan, which allows you to move around the map, full extent in case you get lost, and some other buttons that you may find useful and that you'll use in some of the later exercises for the class. Now, if you notice on the toolbars at the very left end, you'll see this little line here with some dots on it. Notice how my mouse changes to sort of a crosshairs. I can grab the toolbar and actually move the toolbar into the screen. This is called undocking the toolbar. So see, I can move the toolbar around. I can go ahead and grab the other toolbar and I can move it around too. Sometimes you might find this useful uh, to adjust the toolbars if you want. If you wish to re-dock the toolbar, you simply take the toolbar, move it up until you see it snap into place, and then you can adjust where it appears. Some of you might want to get really creative and you can note that you can actually move the toolbars to the side, either this side, or you can move to the other side. Or if you wanted to, you could even put the toolbar on the bottom. You decide what's best for you. Now, I've heard that some of the students in this class in previous uh, semesters have actually closed the toolbars. So if you notice, there's a little X in the toolbar here. I can actually close both of these toolbars. And now you wonder, where do the toolbars go? And most importantly, how do you get them back? So to get the toolbars back, if you go to the pull-down menu where it says Customize, go ahead and click Customize and you'll see an option for toolbars. There's a big long list of toolbars here, many of which you're never going to use. You just have to remember that you want to have the standard toolbar. See it there? And then you also want to be able to turn on the tools toolbar, which is down here at the bottom. Actually, may have gone a little bit off the screen there. The other way you can bring the toolbars back, and actually before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and dock them. So I'm going to redock the toolbars. And now I'm going to dock the other toolbar. The other way you can get, instead of going to the Customize pull-down toolbars, you can also come in any area where you see a gray space like this, and if you right-click, the menu for the toolbars will appear. So you can see that you can turn on and off any particular toolbar. The other thing that some people do that you have to be careful of, sometimes you want to see more of your map and you don't care about the table of contents. So if you'll notice, there's a little X up here and you click that X, 
you will close the table of contents. If you want to get the table of contents back, you have to go back to the Windows pull-down menu and select Windows Table of Contents and you will turn the table of contents back on. So that's it for the quick exploration of the ArcGIS interface. Thank you.